Hello, this is Chris Mitchell. Wanted to bring you a word of encouragement today to say, press on. Press on in Jesus Christ. And remember that we have a far greater glory ahead of us. It doesn't matter what we're going through today. We are going through in Him. He is going to carry us through the flood. He is going to carry us through the fire. And we are going to make it. You know, I reflect back in my life. In 2001, I was supposed to die. But yet I'm still here. And in 2008, I was diagnosed with cancer, brain cancer. And I had surgery. I was supposed to die. But yet I'm still here. And there's many other things that I could tell you that have gone on in my life, yet I'm still here. And many things that are going on right now, yet I'm still here. I just uh, delivered a message <clears throat> this past weekend to a uh, mission. It's a mission I've been going to for several years to encourage those that need encouragement, to encourage those that have lost hope. And you know what? They've seen me. They've seen me through all the trials, through all the tribulations. I still show up, and I'm still there. And it's not because of me. It's because of God. It's because of what Christ does in me. And let me remind you that the Apostle Paul, he was shipwrecked. Many things happened to him. He was beaten. Things happened to him when he was trying to do things for Jesus Christ. But yet, things happened to him. But yet he never lost hope. He kept the hope. He kept the faith. And I want to read a verse to you in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, beginning in verse 8. He says, We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. God has not forsaken us. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always caring about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. You know what? Jesus Christ is working in you and through you, and you are a light to this world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And you are the light of the world. That's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. And he said that we are the salt of the earth. And we must not lose our savor. We are going to abide in Jesus Christ. We are going to keep his word. And we are going to press on. No matter what the circumstance. No matter what the situation. We are going to press on. So let me remind you today, keep your head up, press on, press through. We have a great Messiah that showed us the way, who endured the cross, who saw the glory that was set before him. We have even the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that dwelt in tents, knowing that that they were looking for that city whose builder and maker is God. And we know that that time is coming. So press on, encourage someone, love someone, and may God bless you and may he be with you and keep you and guide you and cause his light to shine upon you. Amen. So have a great day. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.